Welcome to the show, everyone. It's Wednesday. We're doing handstands today. If you don't yet have the program, you're going to want to click the link in the description of this video where I break down all of these movements and teach you what to do so that you can really nail that straight line free standing handstand. Remember, this is a follow along workout. So we presume that you've watched those tutorials and you understand what it is that you're trying to do. Welcome all our Unity Gym tribe members. I know a lot of you are really keen to learn the handstand and just remember that it is repetition, repetition, repetition that nails this move for you. You're not going to get it by trying to force yourself to do something that you're not ready for. So just make sure that you are really honest with yourself and you do the versions of the exercises that are right for you. Um, I'm pretty fatigued today, to be honest. These workouts are challenging and I'm also filming a lot of extra stuff outside of this so I can feel I don't know how well I'm going to do these back body lines and front body lines today, but we're going to do it anyway. So let's get started with our warm up. I'm just going to grab the uh, remote. What's up, tribe? Welcome okay. to the stream. I can we see go, Andy team. Lawson's nailed the first comment yet again. Unstoppable, undefeatable. Yes All right, let's again. go. Get you going. We got Will on the live stream. Of course, if we haven't met, if this is your first time with us, if you are a virgin to Unity Gym and the at home workouts, my name is Yanni Bormeister. Uh, we got Richie the Rig behind the mix. 
And together we are Unity Gym and the Unify Movement System where we take driven people and turn them into athletes. We make them strong, flexible and athletic. And the Unify Movement System, of course, is the only training program available in the universe, in the metaverse, that balances strength, flexibility and fitness in every single workout. If you don't believe me, try one of them. You can do it for free. Before we go forward, before Will uh, shares his witty, illustrious humour, I want you to take this moment to smash the like button if you're not doing the workout. And if you are doing the workout, comment a big Y, <sighs> capital Y, in the Fine comments. Mobility. And uh, between, after the warm-up, between the workout, smash that like button. You know it sends us love. You know it makes us happy. So don't hold back. I was going to say, Yanni, to all the Unity virgins out there joining you, joining us for the first time, what a great bunch of four guys for your first time. Cool. We'll be <laughs> gentle, but uh, this workout, I'll admit, it's going to hurt. Only push as much as you can, guys. What is your 100%? It might not look like what Rad's going to produce on screen, but you've got to do your best. So if it is your first time or if you haven't done handstands before, feel free to take a step back and really learn the movements. Check out those uh, um, tutorials that we've been posting up. Um, but hey, if you're a regular, pull your finger out. Let's get it done. <laughs> morning, Felix Leon. Of course, morning, Andy Lawson. Big shout out to Peter Stefanix. Was missing in action on the live stream yesterday, but he's back today. I know he got the workout done. Diane Norbury right. in the house. We've got Lee Thompson, Katie McDonald, Alistair Bell. We've got a good little crew here from Unity Gym Tribe. Sure do. Dave Clark is back in the house saying my legs are killing from Tuesday's awesome session. You and me both, mate. You and me both. Tessa Richards, morning. Have to come back and do it later. All good, Tess. Just get it done. So here's some love back at you. Let's get it done, Tessa Richards. Sheila Tan in the house. Nice seeing come your little on, live Sheila. stream, little live stream painting session yesterday. If, uh, if you've never seen it before, Sheila is an incredible artist. She is responsible for the mural on the back of the wall. Oh. Yeah, Sheila painted that. And uh, she does these cool little live feeds. So um, follow her on, on uh, I think, on Facebook. I'm, well, she can share her. Yeah, um, share, but, share, uh, share, share us, Sheila. Her Instagram handle is at <laughs> artsheila. Max Silver in the house. We've got Declan Lee, Lou Bayers, Gemma Lofren's back. We've got Rosa. Rosa's saying, not joining in on the workout now, though. Push this will be another theory session before the prac. Nice one. Margot Sawyer would not miss a beat. Love to see you on these streams, Margot. We've got Simon Morgan in the house this morning. Morning Tribe, two days behind. I just did Monday. Enjoy. All good. Get them done. Paddy Maloney. Morning, fellas. Gunnar Nielsen's doing the workout live. Sheila Tan's doing the workout live. We've got Totally Cranky doing the workout live. Storos doing the workout live. Emma Hopkins is in the house this morning. Declan Lee's doing it live. Let's get it done, tribe. Remember, we want you guys to make the most of this workout. If you haven't already taken the opportunity, $29 is all you need to pay and play, grab the full tutorials, make the most of it. All of our Dollar Unity routine. Gym tribe have had access to that for a couple of weeks now. You can learn the movements, learn the progressions, learn the regressions, and get in here on the live stream and absolutely crush it. That's the first step to crushing your goals, and it also goes a long way to supporting us during this terrible lockdown where we have no members in the gym. It is really, really sad, isn't it, fellas? Very, so very sad. sad and lonely. Especially I was looking through our Instagram page this morning and had a little tear in my eye, you know, looking at all the pictures of our members that we don't get to see. It is a lonely life, this lockdown times. I'm not going to lie, I had to give Big Willie P a bit of a hug yesterday. He was feeling pretty down. Uh, I don't really want to get into it now because I'll be choking up. But uh, yeah, we're looking forward to getting everyone back into the gym as soon as we can. Um, I tell you, another thing we want you to do, uh, as you guys all probably know by now, we've got the Daily Grind competition this Friday. We are drawing it out of a hat slash... Not to be mistaken with the Daily Grinder competition. That <laughs> 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 
daily grinder for Richie, daily grind for the rest of us. Um, chuck that up in our Facebook page, whichever group you're in, the Movement Mastermind or the Unity Gym Tribe. Diane Norbury chucked up a few good pictures yesterday. That oh, was great mate, they're put, flowing in now. Yeah, great to put a uh, face to the name. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the face, Diane, you wanted me to picture you as, but uh, yeah, great to see you nonetheless. Gunnar's really been smashing it out. Gunnar, you're a little late this morning. You must have had a little sleep in, huh? That's right. It's uh, it's been an interesting. Uh, it's it's getting interesting. The photos are getting interesting. People are starting okay. to get a little bit more What's confident. Uh, cool. Uh, remember that the photos have to go to the UMS okay, Movement Mastermind Group. Uh, so make sure you get them up there. Big Al, Alistair Bell, good to see you this morning. I haven't seen a picture from you yet, though. I'm sure you've got something uh, hiding away back there. Something to share. Change. Something to share. Clay Thompson, I know your housemates are joining in. Show us what you've got. Remember, guys, it doesn't have to be a selfie uh, or, a, or a profile shot, a portrait shot. It can be a shot of you just lying on the floor. It can be a shot of you actually doing an exercise. We've had some good ones, some pancakes, some, uh, some be creative. Be creative. After yesterday's leg session, there might be you driving the porcelain bus. You never know. That's fine too. <laughs> morning, Declan. Is Rex joining you today? I hope uh, Rex is in the house. Good morning if he is. Rosa Diaz, Brazilian, logging in from Cairns. I was up in Cairns uh, December last year. First time I've been up there. Got to visit right. the Great Barrier Reef, do a lot of that fun stuff. Love the area. All right, guys. Warm up done. I'm going to get into our uh, handstand specific work now. So this, is, this is a good time to smash that like button, Tribe, if you haven't already. Yeah, take a moment, click the like button and click share and share it to Facebook or whatever. Tell everybody what you're doing, get them involved. We'll just wait 30 seconds. Whew. All right, we're going to start with our first knuckle push-ups and wrist push-ups. Yeah, guys, I am uh, part of a rugby club and I've been sharing the links to my rugby team in an effort to keep them fit uh, throughout this lockdown period. So shout out to any of the Chatswood Stag guys that are on here. I know they're not though, but I'll post this up. Hopefully some will see it. But if you've got any sporting mates or sporting teams or housemates, team. anyone close by, share that link and Which encourage them to jump fine. in. Oh, Gunnar's watching the uh, Euro yeah. Cup for sure. Cool. Gunnar's saying no, uh, yeah. watching the Euro football, watching football. Hey. That's, that's just not, not okay. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm in here. We're all in here grinding. Gunnar's just deserted us. <laughs> I'm sure Gunnar's got us playing okay, a minute the laptop break. and the soccer, or sorry, the football on the telly. Yeah, don't, don't call it soccer in front of Gunnar. No. He'll, he'll spew. Oh, that's what Andy's doing now, watching the football as well. Very good. Depends on how you guys train, but the way that I use the UMS, Wednesday is an easier day for me. Even though we give the muscle groups rest and recovery, personally, I find that um, two days in a row of really hard training, the third day I need to take it back a little bit and just have a little bit of a more gentle day. And although straight arm strength and handstands and things like that are challenging in their own way, it's different to the kind of workout we did yesterday where you're just murdered and you're dripping with sweat and everything. So it's important to note that this is a part of the training process. You, you don't. I don't believe in training as hard as you possibly can every day. I don't think that's the right thing to do. I've been training long enough that, uh, you know, I've learned a couple of things along the way. Three, four. Morning, five, Daljit. Thanks for jumping in. Six, Hope you're enjoying the seven, workout and doing what you see. Eight. Lou, how did you go getting uh, Sam out of bed this morning? 
loves his handstand, doesn't he? Almost as much as you. Oh, I hope he's joining in. Max loves hey, his handstands. Break. Puts in the extra time on weekends, which is great to see on his Insta. Facebook and their updates, mate. I tell you what. What are you seeing? 30 seconds. Ah, oh, they've changed this the way it posts go up. There we go. I've got to, I've got to say, even though uh, Yanni and Rad are in their, you know, basically their 40s seconds. now, um, every now and then there's a little yell or a scream from somewhere going, oh, what is this? I don't get it. But they pick it up pretty quick. They know what they're doing online. <laughs> All that time on Grinder. It's just uh, becoming second nature now. Here we go. Good lord. One, two. All right, tribe. Three. I'm back. I'm trying to overcome a couple of technical technicalities Five, here. Six, seven, eight. Got a good little tribe. Oh. Usually these Wednesday workouts are a little bit uh, quieter than Monday, Tuesday. It's it natural after two hectic, hard workouts, people feel like a little bit of recovery. Absolutely, even if you're not a huge fan of handstands, uh, just that next day after two hard days, like Rob was saying, you can feel a bit fatigued, a bit tired. The best thing you can do is get moving again, get that blood pumping around, Encourage that mobility. And don't listen to your body if you're feeling a little bit tired or a little bit sore. Obviously, if you've got an injury, take note of that. But yeah, mobility cures immobility. 25 seconds left. The good thing with this Wednesday workout is that it breaks up the week really nicely. 10 seconds. Just remember guys, for every reason <coughs> that it's not possible, there are, hundred, there are hundreds of people who have faced the same circumstances and succeeded. So is it really impossible? Three. Nothing's impossible. Four. Nothing, nothing. Five. Besides, success always comes Eight. to those who are too busy looking Nine. for it. Ten. Mm. Oh. Eleven. Twelve. And if we're going Eight. down that path, we all know that results usually occur when you are well and truly outside of your comfort zone. All right. All progress takes place outside your comfort zone. Okay, we're going to do our front body line and back body line now. I get up every morning, one of the first things I do is have an ice cold shower. Right now in Sydney, it's six degrees. Trust me, the water is cold. Man, <laughs> the water is like cold. People ask me often why I do that. I do 90 seconds under the cold shower. Uh, and um, other than the fact that it just makes you feel incredible afterwards, one of the biggest things is that it's a daily line, dose of discomfort. Line. You get used to exposing yourself to something that you really don't want to do. And uh, that's an incredible way to harden the mind, callous the soul. All right, let's go. You know what, Yanni, I think I'm gonna leave that up to you though, mate. You can have that one. <laughs> you don't knock it until you try it, folks. Ugh. Don't knock it until you try it. The successful warrior is the average man with laser-like focus. Remember things, things work out for the best for those who make the best of how things work out. And you guys are right now are all working out. Like it. <clears throat> Morning, Natalia. Hey, Brasilia, Brazil. Big <clears throat> shout out. Oh my God, my abs are 
Right. Today. Yesterday, uh, this week, I've been analysing the metrics of the uh, live stream workouts, and we're averaging about 15 to 17 oh, no. different countries around the world, which is pretty cool. We have broke some records this week. We've had uh, over 85 people join us on the live stream. We've had over 1,500 views in one 24-hour period for one of these live workouts. It's uh, certainly a record-breaking week. What I'd like to see now is a record-breaking